All Families Are Special by Norma Simon. Do you know what I found out today? Miss Mack, my teacher, is going to be a grandma. She told her class, my daughter is having a baby. I'll be the baby's grandmother. I can hardly wait. All the kids were surprised. It's funny to think that teachers have families. Everyone is part of a family, Miss Mack said. Would you like to talk about your families? Hands shut up all over the room. Miss Mack said, Sarah, you begin. Well, said Sarah, there are four of us in my family. There's my mom and dad and me and my little sister, Rachel. She's four years old. We adopted her from China when she was almost a year old. Mom and Dad and I flew to China over a huge ocean, miles and miles and miles away to bring Rachel home. On the long plane ride home, Rachel walked up and down the aisle with me, holding on to my hands. Everybody smiled at us. We love Rachel right away. Nick was waving his hand. Let's see. There's Mama and Papa. There's Grandma and Grandpa. We have a new baby, Josh. I have two big sisters and two little brothers. Me, I'm right in the middle. That makes 10 people in one house. When my family orders pizzas, we need three super ones. 10 people, that's one big family, Miss Max said. Families come in all sizes, don't they? Who has a small family? Matt raises his hand. My family is only two people, my dad and me. My mom died when I was two years old. We have lots of pictures of her. I like the wedding pictures best. She looks so beautiful in her long white dress. There's one of mom and me that I like too. Hannah, who's never shy, wanted her turn. I have two mommies, Michelle and Annie. In our family, we all ride bikes, take hikes, and go camping. Michelle and Annie both have green thumbs. That means they know how to grow flowers and vegetables. I'm a gardener too. Grace was next. Our family has three people, she said, mom, dad, and me. But my dad has to travel for his work, so lots of times it's just mom and me at home. I wish he had a different job. When my dad is someplace far away, he calls. That's before I go to sleep. He says, I miss you. Some nights he tells me something funny that happened, and we both laugh. Then Jessica told about her family. Harry lives with us, my mom, my brother, and me. Harry's just like my dad, but he's not our real father. My real father moved away when I was still a baby, so I never knew him. My brother says he remembers him a little. But Harry's great. He taught me how to pitch, and he helps me with my math. We like a lot of the same books and movies. Yeah, I really like Harry. It was Juan's turn. My family's medium size, I guess. There's mom and dad and us kids. We moved into grandma's house when she came home from the hospital. Grandma's much better now, but she still needs us to help her. I love Grandma's old house. It has a big porch and a big backyard. Dad lived there when he was growing up. Let's see. Grandma, Mom, Dad, me, my twin sisters, Jenny and Carla. That makes six people in my family. Next, it was Salma's turn. My family lives in two places, she explained. Grandma and Grandpa live in Pakistan. Mom and Dad were born there. They came to the United States when my brother was just a baby. I was born here. Grandpa and Grandma come to visit us every year. Grandma shows me how to make Pakistani food like samosas. Grandpa goes to watch my little brother's Little League games. I wish they would stay in America, but they say they're too old to leave their home for good. We all cry a little when they go. Then we can't wait until they come next time. Next, it was my turn. There's me, my mom and dad, my sister and my brother. There's a dog, Callie, too. We used to have a cat, Mama Cat, but she died last summer. Is it okay to say a cat and a dog are part of your family, Miss Mac? Sure, Robert, Miss Mac said. Well, everyone in my family misses Mama Cat, even Callie, I said. Kevin told us, I live as Grandpa, Grandma, and Mom, just on the weekends. When Mom comes, she sleeps in the bottom bunk in my room. It used to be her room when she was growing up. I love it when I wake up and she's there. I have lots of aunts, uncles, and cousins, too. When the whole family is together, 
like on Thanksgiving, it's one big bunch of people. The day after Thanksgiving, I always go to the movies with all my cousins. In my family, Christopher told us, my mom and dad got divorced. My dad moved to an apartment, but we still live in our old house with mom. My big brother and I keep most of our things in our house with mom. But we have stuff at dad's apartment, too. We're usually over there a couple days a week. That's the way it was when you, that's the way it is when you divorce. Emily raised her hand. I have two families, too, she said. My mom and dad are divorced. Then last year, dad got married again to Karen. She's not my mom, but she's really nice. She's my stepmom. Karen's kids are my stepbrother and stepsister. It took a long time until we all got used to living together. Now Mom is going to marry her boyfriend, Tom. Tom's daughter, Maria, visits us on weekends. We have a good time together. After everyone had a turn, Miss Mag said, Part of living in a family is sharing happy times and sad times. Can you think of some unhappy things that happen in families? Lots of hands went up. The kids talked about when somebody gets sick and the doctor says it's serious, or when a mom loses her job and she can't find a new one, or when a mom and dad argue all the time and they decide to get a divorce. The children feel pulled back and forth between them. When we talked about good things that happen in families, everyone had lots to tell about sending pictures to grandpa and grandma to put on the refrigerator door, about our family picnics, sending emails to cousins, going to stay with relatives who live far away, building a neat treehouse with a favorite uncle, feeling happy when everyone gets together on holidays. Miss Mack told us when there are bad times, families help each other to feel better. When there are good times, families enjoy them together. The different people in our families all fit together like pieces in a puzzle. You are a very important piece of the picture. No families are the same. All families are definitely special. The end.